This video will show you how to perform audiometric testing using the MAKO MA42. Set up the device with a power cord and connect the transducers and accessories. Use the power switch on the back side of the device to power on. The display will show the MAKO splash screen. Before performing any measurements, take care of a suitable environment. The MA42 should be operated in a quiet room or sound booth so that the audiometric examinations are not influenced by outside noise. Make sure that the patient is comfortable on a chair. The MA42 has a clear layout and key arrangement which is consistent through all tests and screens. The arrangement of the side function keys allows for easy one-handed operation. The side function keys include the control dials to adjust the hearing level or scroll through selection menus. The present keys are used to present or interrupt the signal or masking noise or confirm selection in menus. The store keys allow to store single results or no response results with a long press. The plus and minus keys change to a higher or lower frequency in the tone tests and allow to enter a correct or incorrect answer in the speech tests. For the LED keys, the visible key assignment via LED provides clear identification and gives an overview of the available options. The stim talk and stim monitor keys allow with a quick selection to set the presentation mode, interrupter or presenter, and give easy access to talk forward, talk back and monitor functions. The lower LED keys allow you to change the transducer to set the signal type for the tone tests and to use the lock and track functions. The lock and track functions assist with binaural testing or masking. The display function keys are also clearly arranged for a quick test progression. If an arrow is displayed next to a symbol, a function key has two selection options, the quick select and the advanced select. With quick select, a short key press makes a direct selection. With the advanced select, a long press opens a selection menu. The screen selection keys are located on the right side. The test selection is used for quick transition from pure tone audiometry to speech audiometry. The menu selection takes you to the special test menu and the settings menu or opens the speech test list. On the left side of the screen are the data management functions. Delete to start a new session or delete a single point. And print to save the data as a PDF report or create a thermal printout. The lower display function keys are used for the test navigation. It allows the ear side and the test signal to be set independently for each channel. In addition, each test screen has a test type key to select different test types, which is important for correct storing of results within the device. The pure tone audiometry test screen is divided into several sections. The numerical bar gives a quick overview of the test parameters of the two channels frequency, level, stimulus type and indicator. The stimulus indicator lights up when a stimulus is presented. 
When the patient response switch is pressed, the patient response indicator is displayed above the numerical bar. Graphical display of the stored results appears in the one or two audiogram view. The cursors show the selected levels. The test signal is represented by a plus, the masking noise is indicated by a minus symbol. Below the audiogram, the calculated PTA values will display and the masking tables can be displayed when enabled in the settings. The tables show the effective masking levels when masking has been applied. In the two audiogram view, the maximum level of the selected transducers are indicated by the gray area. Prepare the patient for the test by placing the corresponding transducer on the patient. Choose the corresponding transducer on the device. Then select either the ear for the channel or the test signal for the patient's ear to be tested and, if necessary, the masking signal for the other ear. In the Pure Tone audiometry, the test types HL, MCL and UCL are available. If a speaker configuration is calibrated to the MA42, HL aided is also provided for selection. Now select the test frequency and level and use the present key to present or interrupt the test signal. When the patient indicates to have heard the signal, store the value and continue with another frequency or change the ear sight. The speech audiometry test screen is divided into different sections. The numerical bar gives a quick overview of the test parameters of the two channels. It includes a counter for WRS testing and shows the selected level, input signal and stimulus indicator. The indicator lights up when the input signal is presented to the patient. Below the numerical bar, the VU meter is displayed. The VU meter allows you to monitor whether the levels of the input signal are correct. Test, test, test. The graphical display of the stored results appears in a speech diagram or table. Additionally, the cursors show the selected levels. The input signal is represented by a plus, the masking noise is indicated by a minus symbol. Below the diagram or table, the calculated PTA values are displayed. Prepare the patient for the test by placing the transducer on the patient and select the corresponding transducer on the device. Then select the ear for the channel and the input signal for the patient's ear to be tested and, if necessary, the masking signal for the other ear. The MA42 has a microphone input for living speech and an auxiliary input for connecting an external audio device. In addition, speech tests can be performed with integrated WAV files. Choose the test type. In the speech audiometry, the test types SRT, WRS, MCL and UCL are available. If a speaker configuration is calibrated to the MA42, SRT and WRS aided are also provided for selection. Now select level and present the speech material. House. For WRS testing, the counter can be adjusted using the plus and minus keys. Three. Sun. Then store the result and continue with another speech test or change the ear sight. The MA42 offers various options for creating test reports. The data can be saved as a PDF on a USB flash drive or printed directly with a portable 3 inch thermal printer. If you use the MA42 together with the Mako session software, each stored result is automatically transferred to the PC to ensure smooth data management.
It is recommended that the MA42 and the accessories, which come in direct contact with the patient, be subjected to standard cleaning and disinfecting procedure between patients. Before cleaning, always switch off and disconnect the device from power supply. For cleaning, use a lightly dampened cloth with soap water solution. Disinfect the device and accessories by wiping the surfaces with wet disinfection wipes and allow them to take effect for the duration recommended. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned!